Oh my, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix this. Oh jeez, oh my god. Woo! Hello everyone, today we are gonna talk about what it really costs to be a coach. In my other video, How to Make 100K Before 10 AM, I break down the really simple math on how you can make coaching a career and make it pretty lucrative. Today, I'm talking about the actual costs that you will incur in order to be a career coach. In every business venture, there is a cost to doing business. You have to think of your coaching as a business. You can be a sole proprietor, a partnership, an LLC. Talk to your accountant about what is best for you, but there is always a cost associated with running a business, and you need to think of it that way. So let's break down some of those costs. I know that coaches every year have quite a chunk that they have to pay by July 1st to get all of their memberships in order in order to be able to put skaters on the ice at competitions and test sessions. So let's start with what those are. So we have PSA membership, which is $130. We have US figure skating membership. If you do this through a club, I know it ranges from $25 for a coach to $100. I'm just gonna say, let's split the difference and call it 60 for our math purposes today. We also have to purchase liability insurance to conduct private lessons. That is $100 a year for a million dollar liability insurance. We also have to do a background check every single year and that is $30. In addition, we are Learn to Skate USA members, if you teach Learn to Skate USA, or if that is what is in your rank. So all of that total is $336 per year to get just those memberships in line. All right, now that the memberships are in line, we have continuing education credits, and those are through the PSA, and they are $70. These are required every year for coaches to be able to put skaters on at the higher levels and be compliant. So when you break all of that down and you take your 400 divided by your 12 months, divided by 4.3 weeks per month, we are looking at $7.75 a week. And if you coach six days a week, we are looking at $1.29 per day that it costs you to coach. I know every year it seems like a hefty sum that coaches have to shell out in order to renew their memberships. But when you look at it as $1.29, I know a lot of us are spending that much on coffee. So it doesn't seem as bad when you break it down per day that you work. So let's talk about educational opportunities. I know that when you go to seminars, there's a lot of travel involved and food and hotel, and it can be pricey. There is a lot of educational opportunities that you can find online on the PSA website that you won't have to travel to get the information. So that can cut down on cost. But if you do invest in traveling, it is worth it to do the in-person sites when you can because of the networking and connections that you can make. And you can also ask questions on site. That is also invaluable. When you become a rated coach, it is imperative that you keep up your ratings by keeping up your educational credits. Now, when you do your continuing education requirements, you get credits for that, as well as webinars and other opportunities that are less expensive to get credits. But if you are going to summit every year or every three years to get your 28 credits to keep your rating status, let's call that $1,000. Just because with hotel, it gets expensive, with food and with airfare. So if you take that $1,000 education budget and you divide it by three because you need those credits every three years, you would get 333. You divide it by 12 months of the year, you get $27 a month divided by 4.3 weeks per month. We're looking at $6.45 per week. If you work six days a week, we're looking at $1.07 per day. All right, so so far we're looking at $1.29 from our previous expenses. So that's the memberships. And then we are looking at $1.07 for education. So we're up to $2.36 per day.
that it costs to be a coach so far. All right, let's talk about equipment. I am just gonna make some educated guesses here on how much you folks spend on your skates. I know that some of you on average probably have your skates about five years, I'm guessing, and I'm gonna call it $1,800 because if you're like me and you need custom skates, it's pretty pricey. So hopefully you get a lot out of your money, unless you have skates like this that are 17 years old. And then I finally broke down and got new ones once I uh, slipped and fell and the duct tape wasn't working anymore. All right, so now we're gonna also add a winter coat. I'm gonna budget $300 for that. Mittens for 50, tools, that you use for your lessons, markers, books, whatever you use for lessons, an iPad, I'm just gonna call it $200. Uh, a hat, my rink, it's been pretty cold this winter, I need a hat and scarf. I'm gonna call the hat $30, I'm gonna call the scarf $30. All right, so when we total all of that up, we are looking at $970. Guess what? We're gonna divide it by 12, which is $80.83. We're gonna divide it by 4.3 weeks per month, which is $18.80 divided by six days. I'm always assuming that we're a six day a week coach is $3.13 per day. So now we're looking at a whopping $5.50 per day that it costs you to be a coach. So when you're budgeting for trying to hit that six-figure mark, you need to keep in mind your expenses when you're budgeting as well as commission. And now rinks will charge anywhere between 15 to 20 to 30 percent commission. It all depends on where you are. So please keep that in mind when you are setting your rate because you need to make sure that you cover your costs. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please let me know if there is anything else you would like for me to address in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, but make sure you have an ice day.